Can I help you? Maria? No. Well, is she here? She actually passed away about a year ago. Oh, I'm sorry about it. Wait, wait, it's you. I know this is going to sound really strange, but I've been dreaming about you for the past week. Okay. Would you happen to have about two hours to spare? Sure. Okay, come in. So tell me about this dream you've been having. Okay, so I just moved back here from Indiana, you know, to clean up the place, to get it ready for sale. And just recently I started having this real current dream. And in the dream, there's people wearing like black robes and hoods and like they're all gathered around a fire. And then in the, like in the far away, I hear drums and horns and like they're just performing some kind of ritual. It's really weird, I know. But then all of a sudden, these two people approach each other in the center of the circle and they're both carrying a box. And one person opens the box and the other takes off and leaves. And then the person holding the box takes a look inside and then he removes his hood. And the weird thing is that you are that person that I see holding the box. But the last part that is always bothering me in the dream is when I see you in your apartment and you have ramshacked the place as if you were looking for something. But what was in that box? And maybe if I can actually figure it out, then I can stop having these dreams? Okay, so how can I help? Well, I figured you can help because you're the only face that I see in the dream and then you just happen to show up on my door, so I'm thinking it's no coincidence. So can you help me? It's not a coincidence that I should have made it over. Everything you just said actually happened 20 years ago. I don't know why you've been having those dreams, but what I can tell you is that what I was looking for, I found. What was it? Before I tell you that, I need to tell you what you saw is not a ritual, but a wedding ceremony. The ritual took place a day before. In this ritual, the high priest gave us a piece of metal about an inch long. We were told to prick our ring fingers and place a drop of blood on each other's scrap of metal. From there, the metals were placed inside a kiln and forged into a symbol. And from the burning embers came. Was that what was in the box? The high priest told us that the rings now possess magical powers. What magical powers? That the power of love through the rings would bond us and make our love last forever. So what happened at the wedding ceremony? And why did she run away? On the day of the wedding, I was running late and I was rushing to get myself together. I had the ring in the box sitting on the dining room table. I quickly grabbed the box and put it in my pocket. When I arrived at the ceremony, I was first to open my box. I didn't realize that the ring was not in the box, but she did. So where did you find your ring, and why didn't you just go after her? When I returned to my apartment, I tore up everything in it to look for the ring. It took me two days to find it. On the following day, I was sitting on the floor depressed. Then I noticed that the front door was wide open. The sunlight was beaming into my face. I put my hand over my face to block the light, and that's when I saw the ring on the threshold reflecting the light at me. I quickly ran all the way to this house to get her back and prove that our love was not doomed. But she was gone. Wait, but why this house? And why would I wait all these years to come back again? I told you how the rings were forged and that they held the power. The power of love. But what I forgot to mention is that they also hold the power to summon one another. And today was the first time that I put on the ring and felt the power of the other. So what are you saying? So that's why I'm here today, because the ring called out to me. The ring you're wearing, which was forged with Maria's in my blood 20 years ago. So what you're saying is that you being here and in my dreams are a result of this ring that I found in my mom's jewelry box? Your mother? 
Yes, Maria was my mother. Did she ever mention anything to you about the ring or about her past? No, the only thing my mom ever told me was about some guy named Ethan that was supposed to be my father. I believe this now belongs to you. this whole time and I don't even know your name. My name is Ethan.